What's going on guys? Today I want to do a video about analyzing data. Um, up here we have right now is data from yesterday when I was out at Adams and this is my times versus the best guys times. Okay, I had uh, uh, Billy Musgrave drive my cart for for a session to see what he would run and then I drove it immediately after him in in my cart so the everything's the exact same and I can humbly say he beat me by about a second and a half if you see here he ran uh, a 44-2 and my best time right after him was a, a 40-45-7 so he has me by, by a second and a half um, so now I'm gonna kinda dive into the data and try to figure out where exactly he's gaining time on me opposed to maybe I'm gaining time on him which I don't think I will be let me uh, for those who are unfamiliar let me kinda give a brief synopsis of what we're looking at here okay over here this is this is just the lap times as you can see Billy ran a, a 44 2 in my cart and I ran a 45 7 in the cart uh, basically, there's a bunch of other little things over here, but to be honest, nothing else really matters too much. So we're going to close this out just to kind of widen it up a little bit. Okay, now looking at at this in general. Okay, the, this top the top row here. This is all engine engine RPMs. This second row here is uh, speed delta, and the third row down here is the time difference. Compared to compared to the lap, he's he's the red line down here, which he's the reference lap, and then the the green one here is me losing time towards him throughout the throughout the track. I am green all the way around. He is red, and then this is the track. It is Adams Kart Track. I put a I put a practice video out on it last week. I'll put a link to it either in the description or maybe I'll put a little annotation. Um. So that's that. If you guys want to watch watch how this track is, you I would recommend watching that one. But other than that, let's kind of take take a look at where I'm losing time compared to Bill. One, uh, what you want to kind of look for majorly is is gaps in this in the uh, in the speed reference is is gaps. Like as you can see here, there's a pretty decent gap from here to here, and then there's some more. There's a big gap right here. And there's kind of a, not a big gap, but it's a, it's a gap for a while. So there's definitely some time lost here and some little bit here and there. Okay. But definitely looking at this initially, I can see that I'm losing a lot of times on, under the braking. He's braking a lot deeper and a lot, a lot more aggressively than I am, but still able to carry the, the roll speed and, and speed at the apex as me and pull it out just, just as good as me. And then there's a little bit through here. Uh, we, we've gained it. Uh, we gain and lose a little bit, but generally he's a little bit quicker through here. And and then we kind of finish the lap out here. <clears throat> Some other quick things to note: you can kind of see what what gear I'm in through up here, and where I'm at with revs and stuff. And I think he actually did make a mistake because this this big drop in revs. He told me he he actually ended up locking the brakes up a little bit into this hairpin. So that's actually a one little mistake on him, but he still was better than me on the brakes into that corner. <clears throat> so let's kind of let's kind of take it through, let's kind of take it through the lap and see where we're at. Okay, this is we'll put the little marker over here, as we can see, and let me reference you. See this over here is what how much time I lost compared to him. Okay, so right now at the start, you know I'm a point zero zero four. So that we're we're just starting. And as you can see here, this is the rundown into into turn one, which is the sandbox. But uh, the start finish line is actually going to be right here on the track. But the beacon they had out there was right here. So for this video's sake, we're going to have turn one be the sandbox corner over here. Okay. As you can, the first thing the first thing I'll note is I'm kind of like neck and neck with him as far as miles per hour. Like right here, you can see the miles per hour thing up here. He's got me by about a, a mile per hour coming out of the last corner. But it opens up right here. As you can see, kind of like right here, it opens up pretty good. And 
I, as you can see, the reason for that is he's actually pulling another gear than me. As you can see, uh, I'm a little bit later than him on pulling fourth. And then a little bit later, he's pulling fifth, with which when he pulls fifth, he's able to <clears throat> be back in the power band and actually gain. Let's see. Let's see how much he gains on me up into the corner. Okay, this is where... This is where he pulls he pulls into pulls fifth gear. He's point zero two ahead of me, and then by the end of this straightaway, he or into right into the breaking zone, he is he is uh, one one point one. So he gains about a tenth by by pulling that that uh, fifth gear into there. As you can see, my revs kind of start uh, leveling out right here, and that. That's from I guess just just being at the top, just being at the uh, being at the rev limit. So I I'm going to try and I'm going to try and pull fifth gear and I should be able to gain a little bit a little bit of time, maybe half a tenth to a full tenth next time I'm out. But then after that is really kind of where it starts. He starts to gain a lot of time. Now as you can see here, this is the braking zone as as we're low we're we're going down on speed. So from at the so right before the braking zone to the apex right about here he gains another two and a half tenths on me as you can see it's about it's about one tenth up here and then about about three and a half tenths down here okay so he's actually as you can see he, he's going into it a little bit faster but he's actually breaking a little bit later than me into that corner but he's able to maintain the the cart stability and get it and get it slowed down and our, our apex and roll speed is about the exact same and then we get out of the corner from here to here you know we're we're the exact same if anything i gained a little bit but that's that's nothing so so my mid corner is just as good as his and my exit is just as good as his right but he gained two and a half tenths on breaking into turn one alone Okay, so then that kind of that kind of puts us puts us on the back straight here. This is the beginning of the back straight. He starts to pull away a little bit on me here, which I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe it's because he does weigh less than me, and maybe because he was tucking more. But he but let's see, coming out of the corner, right about here, we're the we're the exact same speed. Then he pulls. And then by the end of the straightaway, he's two miles faster than me. So maybe he's tucking a little bit more. Maybe that's because he's a little less weight. But I don't think there was much time. How much time was was gained there? Well, he actually did gain. Uh, actually, he gained about another tenth on the straightaway from either tucking or maybe he was shifting faster or his weight. So those are, those are some little things that I can work on. But that's not really where I'm seeing the big issues at. And then my next... See, and then we're at here into turn two. We're about, we're almost a half second behind into turn two already. But this is, I'm losing even even more here. This is probably, this is the biggest gap right here of speed. He is, he's about almost 10 miles an hour faster than me at one point into this braking zone. Right, I am braking here, whereas he is braking here. He's braking probably about two or three cart lengths after me. And you can tell he's harder on the brakes than I am. Going, going into, going into turn two, but, but then I do have a little bit better roll speed than he does through here. Actually, coming into, coming in, coming out of the corner, but I still lost way too much going in. So let's let's go back. We are four four and a half tenths. I'm behind him, but in at the apex. I am seven and a half tenths, so I literally am losing three tenths in this breaking zone alone. But I do gain, I do gain back, I gain back about a tenth and a half. So I'm about, so I'm still about, I'm back to three, about to lose almost two tenths in that corner there itself. Okay, so here and then I think through here we're about even. Yeah, we're about we're about even through the S's, right? He's he's got me coming coming out of the coming out of that corner through here. We're we're about even through the S's. Okay, so there's not much to look at into there, but here is where he starts. He pulls he pulls away from me again. 
Okay, this is the this is the little chicane part where it's really rough in the chicanes. He is he's gaining. Let's just look at what he's gaining on me through here. He's at 0.7, and on the exit, he is another. He's he's a 1.0. So he's, he gains another three tenths there alone, and he and he gets a better exit for the straightaway. So unfortunately, I can't really look at exactly what line he is he's using. I think I can if I actually if I go to the GPS. If I go to the GPS, I can kind of see some of the lines. I don't really know how to work this just yet. You can kind of rotate it, but it, the beacon is not. Oh, I'm getting all all sorts of discombobulated right about now. <laughs> but the beacon. Also, the beacon isn't exact, as you can see. All right, come on. How do I? Yeah, <clears throat> I, it's it's not exact. It's pretty close, but I don't think it's it's exact. So I don't want to look at it too much. I'll have to actually watch footage of him driving through there compared to me. Uh, sometimes I can't exactly tell exactly where this line is. So let's go back to the uh, no, what was it the measure data? Okay, so. So he's just got a better line through through the S's than me. I gotta kind of just work at it. Maybe maybe because he is lighter. He's actually probably about forty pounds lighter than me, but that shouldn't be that shouldn't be too much. Maybe maybe like like four four or five tenths on the whole lap. He's faster than me because of his weight, but that's that's at at most. And then he does get he gets a he he goes through there faster. And then he gets a better exit than me and is as fast without me through the whole straightaway. All right, so if you actually look from from here where we were about even, through the S's, he's three-tenths, and then down because he had a better exit out of that last corner in there, he is 1.3. So it, 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 he gains, if you want to count that straightaway as part of the chicanes, he's gaining seven-tenths on me. Through through that sector alone, through just these S's and then down the straightaway, and then that kind of leads us into the last braking zone, which it's kind of the same the same routine here. I'm braking a lot earlier than he is. Like I'm braking about here, and he's braking about here, right? That so that already kind of puts me at a disadvantage. And I lose, I'm at 0.3 here. I lose almost another full two tenths into that corner. But I do have a little bit better roll speed than he does. But I'm only I'm only gaining a half of a tenth of the two tenths I lost from that corner. And then he sets up better and has a little bit better last little chicane nook than I do there. But not much. I think from here, from here, actually from here to, he's at one, one and a half. Do here, Yes. Yes, I took the last corner better than Billy Musgrave. Yes. All right, re read it weep, guys. From from apex of that corner to the finish, Billy's got something to learn. Okay, guys. But let's let's look back at where where I'm going wrong. Okay. Now another thing to look at. Okay, so you can just say, okay, I got to break later, right? Which to me, I remember being when I was on the track. I was, I was just, I felt like I was breaking at the limit, right? So I was thinking, how is he breaking so later? Obviously, he, he weighs a little bit less than me, so he can go maybe be maybe a, a half a cart length to a cart length further, but his technique is bringing him two to three cart cart lengths deeper into the brakes than me. And I, I was, it, this kind of racked my brain for a little bit, like how he was able to do it so much. And one of the one things I noticed myself doing into these breaking points and you can tell by the data right is you can see the revs right this is into the breaking point right here I have a lot higher revs into the breaking point through here and especially through here okay here is a little bit harder to tell because he locked it up but what this is telling me as a driver is that as soon as I'm getting on the brakes I'm down shifting too fast Okay, and then when I'm downshifting too fast, it's it's putting my engine into higher revs and unstabilizing the rear of the car. So, what I'm going to try and do this next time I'm out is is start downshifting a little later because that'll kind of stabilize the cart, and I'll be able to uh, brake deeper. 
Because I think the, why I wasn't braking deep enough was because my lack of confidence and the instability of the cart. And I think that stems from me downshifting too early. So that's that's where I'm at. Hopefully I can bring some time back because I want to be on the winning side of some of these races and not so, not so far back. <laughs> but Billy is definitely one of the greatest uh, carters in the U.S. So I'm definitely very thankful for... for him to drive my car and l allow me to take the data off of it and uh, and analyze where I'm going wrong. Uh, if you see anything else on here from this, it might you guys might not be able to see everything, but if you see anything else on here, let me know in the comments below where you might think I can pick up some time. Uh, I think I just just the glaringness of the braking zones is really bad for me. I think. I'm going to do the braking zones, and I'm definitely going to pull the extra gear here into turn one. And I think he pulls another gear in gear on me into turn two as well. So I'm going to try pulling those extra gears, and then that might help me with downshifting as well because I'll be a little bit later downshifting into the lower gears. So that, that might help. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about these kind of data analysis. I know I am very slow compared to some of these other guys, but it's definitely leaves me a lot of room for improvement and it's really easy to see kind of where I'm losing time but that's gonna that's gonna wrap this video up um, I hope to have the next uh, real carding life video out to you guys this week and this weekend is the actual regional carding event for episode 5 so I'll be doing a lot of more shooting so definitely if you haven't already make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that miss out on that and until the next video guys stay true and race off Oh, my God.